Greetings and welcome to Tring 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 What's up? Tring Tring Hello? Oh, there you are! Who is this? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I kinda do. Santa Claus. Eric Freeman? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. It's the garbage man. Oh shit, Patrick, man, it's just you. What's up? I was wondering if you felt like reviewing a movie with me. I don't know, man. Some of the stuff you review, well, it belongs in the garbage. Enough said. It's Piranaconda. Dude, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Brian, wait, I live in Texas and you live in Massachusetts. How are you gonna- <laughs> It's cool. I know a shortcut. Garbage day. Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Screw this. this edition of Brian Gatto's Horror Show, not only am I reviewing what is probably the greatest sci-fi channel monster movie ever made, Piranaconda, but I'm also reviewing it with a co-pilot. Just don't call me Goose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that rather condescending voice you're hearing belongs to the Garbage Can Film Man. He hosts his own review channel where he reviews some crazy stuff. And my older audiences should check it out, but my younger ones should probably stay away. That's enough plugging. You're making me blush. Let's get to this Piranaconda movie you're so crazy about. Alright then. Tell you what. Since I liked the movie and you didn't, you say what you didn't like about this movie, then I'll say what I did, then we'll let the viewers decide. Okay, let's start with the cast. I was excited to see Rachel Hunter's name in the cast. I can remember back in 94 waking up stuck to my SI swimsuit edition more than a few times. Of course, seeing her 20 years later, well, that's just kind of sad. In addition to an older, larger Rachel Hunter, the movie's cast mostly consists of scantily clad bimbos. I have no problem with that, but trouble is, most of the acting from these starlets reeked of porn. And why wouldn't it? With actresses like Diana Terranova or Angie Savage, you begin to wonder if they casted this fucker straight from the bunny ranch. You know, I like porn stars and all, but to be honest, when you watch a porn star deliver dialogue, you're generally let down when someone doesn't end up covered in body fluid. I don't know. Some of the cast was just just, meh. Especially Michael Madsen and his performance. He just seemed like he was bored with his role most of the time. But besides Michael Madsen and some extras, it looks like they were all having fun with their roles and it helped entertain you with some funny lines, which is like just watch a thousand rounds bounce off its highlight they were freaking Tic Tacs. That was gold. Of course they looked like they were having fun. They were just glad they didn't have to do any DVDA shots. Come on, people can transition from porn to legitimate film. 
Christ, I sound like a casting couch director. Another problem I had with this movie is, you know, I'm an old school kind of guy, so I like my monsters made out of rubber, latex, and plastic. So for me to watch a movie that relies solely on CGI for its special effects, that shit was pretty painful. I mean, if I want to see a computer animated monster, I play my fucking Xbox. But you know, when you rely on CGI to this degree, certain gags just just don't work. Like the scene where the CGI disembodied head speaks during what is supposed to be a film shoot. How the fuck do you shoot a scene with live actors with CGI already in place and actually interacting with the actors before post-production editing? Tell me that. Seriously, you're gonna watch a movie called Piranaconda and then bitch about the scene where a B-movie is shot within a B-movie? I have actually watched pretty much all of the stuff on how they made the CGI Piranaconda and I've gotta say, I was pretty impressed with the amount of effort and detail they put into the creature. They even made the skin wrinkle whenever it curls, giving it a more real look. Even if the head of the creature looked a bit cartoony, it still looked realistic. Did you say realistic? You had a small army of badasses firing countless 9mm 12 gauge and 223 rounds into this thing? You tell me how come this fucker didn't bleed. Hell, show me some damn monster damage. Make it look like a badass. If it could have like its eye blown out or maybe like blood pouring out from countless bullet holes and the fucker could still be coming right at you, that would kick ass. And I think one of the advantages of using CGI would be something like that would be freaking possible. I get that maybe these things are supposed to be bulletproof, but but I mean a freaking rocket propelled grenade only cripples one of these damn things. After he gets shot, the other piranaconda comes out of nowhere and fucking finishes the job. Sorry but that's just gay. Overall, I give for Anaconda. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. That's Brian's thing. If you like sci-fi channel movies, porn stars, and aging swimsuit models, then this is your fucking movie. If not, you might want to find another low-budget movie made before maybe the time of digital cameras and effects. I can arguably say that Piranaconda looks top-notch, and it crushes the other CGI hybrid monsters such as Sharktopus, Dino Shark, Dino Croc, and Super Gator. In fact, the same company that did the CGI effects for Piranaconda also did them for Dino Croc vs. Super Gator, which is also directed by Jim Minorsky. So all in all, is Piranaconda a perfect cinematic experience? No. But is it the perfect sci-fi channel movie? I think so, yeah. It is very self-aware and fun. Overall, I give Piranaconda a solid 5 out of 5. Lion Brain Gatto, host of our show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe. And if you like that intro, then check out this outro. stick. Now where the hell did that thing go? Is that a helicopter? It must have gotten to the city. Or my hometown. What the hell is that? Hold on. Better be careful. What the hell is it? It's a binder. Crab shark. By me? What the hell is this? Oh my god. What is this? Looks like. Looks like a fucking empty nest. Oh my God. Hi. Oh no, not again. 
Oh my god. I gotta get up this rock. I gotta get oh. I'm so sorry. What has happened? It was my project. It's a dream. Oh god. It's just you, Patrick. Garbage day! No. <laughs>